Hello, welcome to the fourth video in the series. So today we're going to learn how we can get the pupil, the brownish part of the pupil to pop out the more using hue saturation. So let's get into it. So all we need to do is to add hue saturation. All right. So now hue saturation contains a part called the hue, which refers to the color. Okay. Hue refers to the color saturation refers to the amount of color that you need for that particular picture and while lightness refer to how dark or how bright you want it to be okay so for this image we're just going to use the saturation we will leave the hue the way it is, meaning we we'll still maintain this color, but then you want to increase the intensity. Okay, so just to make it to pop out the more. All right, so I'm going to increase it slightly, not too much. Okay, so something like this is fine. Okay. So all I need to do now is to turn it off, control I. So now that I've toggled it off, I'm going to use the brush to brush around, around it. So ensure this is set to white, your overlapping square is set to white. I'm going to brush around this. You can increase your flow and your opacity to 100%, it's fine. So I'm going to paint on these as well. Okay, you can see. So let's see before, uh, after, before and after. You can still go back and increase the intensity if you feel it's not good enough. Okay. So another thing again you can do is the fact that you can now change the hue saturation to any color you want. Okay, so this is the current color that we have. You can see, you can change it to any color as soon as you are done um, doing all the necessary thing. Okay, you can see we're done. So I'm going to set it to zero. Alright, so before and after. Alright, so that's all I have for you on hue saturation. So see you guys in the next tutorial.